An ex parte communication is a communication not on the public record that occurs without notice to interested parties. In Ludwig v. S. Drew, an ex parte communication suggesting that an applicant for disability benefits might be faking led to big trouble for a judge. After leaving the military, William Ludwig worked as a fishing tender, a welder, and a cook. He'd also spent some time in correctional institutions. His most recent job was cooking at Denny's, but he was fired earlier that year and hadn't worked since. Ludwig had various physical and mental ailments. He received a 10% disability compensation due to knee trouble that started while he was in the service. He had bipolar disorder and a seizure disorder, both controlled with medication. Ludwig applied for Social Security disability benefits. He claimed that he couldn't work because of epilepsy, bipolar disease, depression, anxiety, and insomnia, as well as back and knee pain. The Social Security medical consultant concluded that Ludwig was capable of most physical demands and his medical conditions caused him only mild difficulties. The Social Security Administration denied Ludwig's application for benefits. At a review hearing before an administrative law judge, Ludwig claimed that he couldn't lift more than 15 pounds without pain, but he also said that he carried his own heating firewood into his cabin. He told the judge that he couldn't control his anger, making it impossible for him to work with others, and that he had regular seizures. A year earlier, Ludwig told a medical provider that he could press 1,000 pounds and he exercised regularly. A doctor found that Ludwig's knee problems were minimal, and a chiropractor reported that he could walk normally. Ludwig's medical records indicated that he'd gone for years with no seizures. Just after the hearing, an FBI agent spoke to the judge privately. He reported seeing Ludwig walking normally in the parking lot, but then adopting a limp when he entered the courthouse. The judge immediately told Ludwig's counsel about this ex parte communication. The attorney requested a supplementary hearing at which he could cross-examine the agent. The judge refused, but claimed he didn't assign significant weight to this report. Noting the many contradictions in Ludwig's story, the judge decided that he wasn't credible. Even discounting the agent's report, it appeared that Ludwig exaggerated his symptoms. The judge concluded that Ludwig could still work as a cook. Accordingly, he wasn't eligible for benefits. The district court affirmed the denial of benefits. Ludwig appealed to the Ninth Circuit. 